Okay, what we're going to do is talk about how to change the chin rest out on a fiddle. So you either have one on here and you want a different one, or maybe you don't have one at all and you want to learn how to put one on. If you notice on the chin rest, there are holes here. And these holes, you have to put something in there to be able to turn the rods, and that loosens and tightens the shoulder rest. Now I have a couple of things that you can do this with. There is a special tool. looks like this. And, um, but you can also use some other things, as long as they're small enough that they fit into the hole, like maybe the end of a drill bit, if it's a really small one, or the end of a thumbtack, or even a small nail. The only problem with something like a thumbtack and a nail is um, they come to a point, and so they're not as fat on the end. And it's helpful if it's fat on the end, because these holes go all the way through, and you have to be sure that you don't go all the way through, and then when you turn it, scratch the fiddle. So you want to make sure that you're careful about that. So you can put that in there, and then what you do, if you turn one direction, it tightens it, and if you turn the other direction, it loosens it. You can work on one side, and you can see I'm doing this with, with my thumbtack here. Work on one side a little bit, and I'm making sure not to put this all the way through so that I don't scratch it. And it's actually, that's true of whatever you use to loosen this up with. And when it starts to get loose, you can actually reach over with your fingers and loosen it up. And there you can see I have it off. So that would give you the opportunity then to put one on. So let's say you didn't have one on your fiddle and you want to put it on there. So the first thing you do is you decide where you're going to put it. And you really don't want it touching the tailpiece because it can buzz against the tailpiece. But certain types of uh, chin wrists actually fit over the tailpiece. For the purpose of this, we're going to pretend like we wanted to trade out the tailpiece and we wanted to use one of those over the tailpiece chin rests. One of the things you want to look at is you want to make sure that you have cork on here. You need cork on both sides and you need cork over here. Just like on this one here that I took off, it actually has material down here instead of a cork that's not quite as good as cork. And then it does have cork here and here. So now let's say that I want to put this on my, on my fiddle. So I can put it up here, and right now I need to loosen both of these because it's so small that it actually won't fit on my fiddle yet. And I'm just going to keep working both sides here. Okay, and now I can get it on there. And what I want to do is I want to center it. So if it's not centered, you'll see it's over to one side or the other side. So what you want to do is kind of get that centered. Once you get it centered, then if it's real loose, you can tighten it with your fingers. Otherwise, you're going to need to use your tool again. And so now you're just going to go working again from one side to the other side. And again, I'm making sure I don't put the thumbtack all the way through the hole. And I just start to tighten that up. Now when it feels like it's pretty tight, what you want to do is see if it moves. Now that moves pretty easily, so I don't have that tight enough. So I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit more. Now you can over tighten these. This kind of a chin rest isn't as likely to do damage because there's actually a block of wood right here in the fiddle. But on the type that we removed from here, when it just sits on one side, over tightening it can actually cause the ribs here to collapse. And it won't happen immediately, it'll happen over time. And so you want to be careful that you don't over tighten it. You can also see on this fiddle that when somebody put it on there, they got it real close to the edge of the wood and they actually took chips out of the wood. So those are some things that you want to look out for. It won't hurt the fiddle, but I mean it doesn't look near as good, especially if you don't keep this kind of a chin rest on here. Now I've got this on here. It's very solid, and so I don't have to worry about it falling off when I put it up under my chin. And I'm done.